Hello, good morning. Um, I guess good afternoon or whenever it is you see this video, you know, hello. Um, in class, we've been discussing uh, how to um, manually adjust our, our cameras. Let me add some light over here, maybe it'll help. Um, okay, there we go. Um, we've been discussing how to manually uh, uh, adjust our cameras um, as well as use the pre-programmed modes. Now on these, we've got uh, our manual modes here, which are the M, excuse me, let's go the other way, M, which is full manual, A, which is aperture priority, T, which stands for time value or um, shutter speed priority, and then P, which is program. Now, um, aspects of each of these. Manual, you're gonna be controlling um, your uh, exposure from beginning to end. You're in charge of uh, establishing what ISO you want to use and then what shutter speed and what aperture value and what white balance you want to use. Um, aperture priority is the setting where you set the aperture and then the camera decides which shutter speed to go to. Uh, shutter speed is the opposite of aperture. You set the shutter speed, the camera decides where to set the aperture, okay? And then P is kind of, it's kind of like automatic, but um, with a little bit more control. You're able to bracket your exposures one way or the other. You can manually um, overcompensate or undercompensate for the exposure, meaning that you can um, have a uh, overexposed or underexposed image on purpose, um, or, and you can also change the ISO and white balance. Okay, so on the back of our uh, cameras, I'm gonna just flip it around there, and we've got our manual exposure reading. Now, that is what this meter is here. So if I push my shutter halfway down and get a reading, right, right now I can see that it is blinking at negative three, which means that one four thousandth of a second is gonna be way too fast, uh, meaning that it's gonna be way too underexposed. So I've got my exposure compensation button here, and then I've got my, uh, try to get the light on it, sorry. Uh, right here I've got my index wheel. And with the index wheel, I can change my exposure from 1 250th of a second. And I'm going to go down, I'm going to meter my light again by half clicking. And you can see that that little indicator is lined up right under the bottom where that zero is in between the one and two, or excuse me, in between the ones. When it's there, right there, that's a proper exposed image. Okay. So if I take the picture, it looks properly exposed, okay? Now, if I intentionally wind that too high, if I go to, uh, I don't, I'm sorry, that's a negative one. This will be too dark of an image, right? If I keep going down that, this image will eventually be essentially just all black, right? No detail, nothing. And the same is true if I go the other way. Okay, so if I go to a quarter of a second here, it'll just be a big white blur eventually if I go too high. So one second exposure. Aside from being blurry because my hand's shaking it, it's also too bright of an image, okay? So whenever we take a picture uh, on manual exposure, we want to make sure that we're lined up right there under the zero. That's going to give us a properly exposed image. The good thing about shooting on aperture, shutter speed, or program is that by default, it will always be um, properly exposing the image. So even at f20, which is a very small aperture, it still is going to read uh, at a sixth of a second. It'll still give me a proper exposure, okay? Um, we can manually offset that. So I can manually overexpose it if I hold down this button here, which has AV, which stands for aperture value, and then it has the plus or the minus there. Now, if I hold that down while using my index wheel right here, that will send my exposure manually overexposing it by one stop or underexposing it by one stop, two stops, three stops, all the way down. Actually, there's no real threshold on that. Um, just the meter there stops reading at negative five and positive five. So anything below that you can just assume is gonna be pretty much useless. Um, okay. Um, the next uh, part of this video is uh, just going to be uh, us working in Lightroom and how to um, utilize Lightroom, how to work Lightroom. Um, hopefully you've all been able to log on. Um, 
If not, um, if you're not, still not able to log on for whatever reason, uh, you more than likely you're going to have to come in so that I can help you um, or schedule a Zoom call or something like that. Um, so once again, we've got our, our four manual exposure modes. Each of those allows us to control our exposure. Okay. Um, yeah, so I will, the next video you see will just be the screen recording of using Lightroom.